Hey YouTube, this is TechWiz Productions and today I'm going to show you guys how you can get the stacks docklet for Rocket Dock. As you can see I have it for my downloads and for my program files. I will have the link in this on the description, but it's really simple. It's not really that much of a big deal to get it now. Uh, so I probably won't even put the link in the description, if anything. So let's just wait until my browser opens real quick. It's taking quite a while since of the Camtasia. Okay, so what you want to do is go to rocketdoc.com. Sorry, this is taking a little. This is just lagging. The only reason I'm using a screen recorder is because um, I'm charging my camera. So I just decided to use the screen recorder. I have Cam Studio, but it's like my first time using a screen recorder ever. So yeah, again, sorry about this taking so long for this to load. Alright, once at the Rocket Doc website, go to where it says add ons. And then when at add ons, you want to click on Docklet. and then you're going to see the first the first docklet you see is the stacks docklet you want to click on it and then you can review the screenshot like just by clicking on the image and then you can just download the file so click download It'll open a new uh, tab in your web browser, depending on what browser you have, and then it'll close it again. Um, and depending what you have, it's a zip, so you don't really need WinRAR. It's just, um, it's a compressed file, so what you do is you save it. I'm gonna save it to my desktop instead of saving it onto my downloads. So then you save it, close your web browser, and then you just extract it straight onto your desktop. So I'm going to click extract here. Then it starts extracting the files. You're going to see the fire. Sorry, I said fire. You're going to see the file right here, which says stack docklet. Now what you're going to do with that folder is that you're going to open my computer.
go to your hard disk, hard drive, whatever you want to call it. You go to your program files. Then go down to where it says Rocket Dock. Then you want to go to the uh, well. You don't really have to. All you gotta do is um. Let's see this real quick. All right. All you have to do is drag the folder into where it says Docklets. I'm gonna remove the. I'm gonna open my Docklets, and it, as you can see, I have it here. So that's simply all you do. Now, when you when you drag the folder inside of the Docklets folder, you want to close this. Go to your Rocket Dock. Right click on an empty spot or an icon and go to where it says add item and then at the very bottom you're gonna see rocket dock clock docklet and right under that you're gonna see the stack docklet. What you wanna do is you wanna click it and then it'll make a new icon in your dock. Just give it a few seconds. Again, sorry that this is lagging. Okay, as you can see, it just got a new icon. If you click on it, nothing happens. You, you want to right click and go to icon settings. Click on that. This pops up. Now here, you going to go to this little box over here. You want to click on. You want to click on it. And then from there, you can choose the folder that you would navigate to. Let's say if I want, um, my my documents, which is Steven's documents. That's my name. You click on that. You click OK. You can change the icon to whatever you want. Doesn't really matter. Like as you can see, I have my downloads with a little arrow facing down. Um, you can sort it by name, size, file type. Just let this load real quick. All right. So here you can choose the icon that you want. Like let's say if I wanted the uh, my document one, you click on that. You click OK. All right. You can sort it again by creation time, last modified time, last access time, or kind. I just click kind, whatever. You can leave the mode for automatic, depending on how much how many files you have. Um, like let's say if I leave it automatic, like OK, you go back to your dock. Then you click on it. As you can see, it changed the icon. Click on it, and it opens the fan. And then here you can just access your files. If you want it to open in grid mode, you right click, go to icon settings, and then you change it where it says mode, and then you click on grid, and you click OK. And then you just click on it and it shows you in grid mode. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.